Hey, what's up, everyone? Torrin Wells here. I'm bringing you your verse of the day today. It comes from Romans 3, 23. It says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. I realized something about myself recently. I use the phrase, I'm good, way too much. I'm annoying myself at this point saying, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'll be in the restaurant and they'll ask me if I want more salsa. I'm good, I'm good. I'll be at home and my wife will ask me if I need help with something with work or around the house. Oh, I'm good, babe, I'm good. It got me thinking. I wonder if I've bought into the idea that I am good. I'm good, I'm a good person. I do good things. The only problem with that is, is, I know me. Wake up every morning and I look this dude in the mirror and I know my sin, my failure, my dysfunction, my struggles. And I know ultimately I'm not good. But something that encourages me about this scripture is the word all, for all have sinned. Now, just because other people have sinned doesn't excuse my sin. But it is kind of good to know that my dysfunction and my struggle and my failures at least don't surprise God. It's not like he's never seen it before, like he's never dealt with it before, like he's never forgiven it before. But we can really only experience the depth of God's goodness when we realize the goodness that we lack. We need Jesus today. We have all sinned. We all come short of God's glory, but it is only when we are willing to admit that it's not all good that we realize how good God really is.